Hello folks, uh, today I have uh, the question from the recent May-June 2020 exams and the very first question that I am trying here seemed to be the most rigorous one. It took me a long time to solve actually. So if uh, we go through just a general idea, yes we can do that but uh, I want it to be numerically specific. Uh, so this question is about uh, current electricity. It says that a galvanometer of resistance 5 ohm is to be used in a null method. So this means the uh, galvanometer has a resistance of 5 ohm. Uh, in order to protect the galvanometer from damage due to excessive initial current, resistors of uh, 0.5 ohm and uh, 1 kilo ohm are available. Which arrangement would provide this protection? So uh, we are given four choices here, choices, and uh, we have to try them. Uh, one by one if we really want to be specific in our answer the first says uh, uh, we have to use the 0 0.5 ohm resistor in series with the galvanometer so let's uh, draw the diagram here so and there's a lot of space here so that's why i'm writing even uh, above this thing so the first choice is using the 0 0.5 ohm resistor resistor in uh, series with the galvanometer so this is the galvanometer so its resistance is uh, 0 0.5 ohm and the galvanometer's resistance is 5 ohm now let us see how much current uh, flows through it so for that we just uh, uh, assume an arbitrary potential difference v here v so uh, v and the current here will be same across all of them so this current will be equal to equal to equal to this v by the series of these two 0 0.5 plus 5 so it will be equal to equal to so uh, 5 plus 0 0.5 is 5.5 .5. so its reciprocal is 5.5 .5 reciprocal equal to this much so it is 0 0.182 so it is equal to 0 0.182 into v it is not volt actually it is the quantity numerically it's equal to this much it doesn't mean volt now in number two so this is choice number a so in choice number a the value of current is equal to this much in number b we have got 0 0.5 ohm resistor in parallel with the galvanometer so 0 0.5 ohm resistor so this is uh, 0 0.5 ohm resistor in parallel with the galvanometer g and then 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 this combination placed in series with the one kilo ohm resistor so this combination in series with the 1 kilo ohm resistor so this is a 0 0.5 ohm and this is 1000 ohm and uh, let us apply the same potential difference v here if i do so first of all i have to find the voltage across the galvanometer first of all and then i'll find the current here i'll find the current here ig so here this ig was equal to this much because the current that flows here also flows here so it's equal to ig and here ig is different from the current flowing here and the current flowing here let's first find this vg so this vg is equal to vg is equal to uh, potential divider of this resistance and this resistance so this is 1000 it's okay but we still don't know what is this resistance so it is the parallel of 5 and 0 0.5 so it will be equal to the parallel of 5 and 0 0.5 will be equal to i can write here so 0 0.5 parallel 5 is equal to 0 0.5 into 5 divided 0 0.5 plus 5 so it will be equal to equal to uh, 0 0.5 into 5 divided uh, 0 0.5 plus 5 by close equal to it is it is it is 0 0.45 0 0.455 so it is 0 0.455 ohm so the resistance combined resistance here is 0 0.455 ohm so that's why this vg should be equal to 0 0.455 divided again 0 0.455 plus 1000 into this v r1 by r1 plus r2 into v like that so it's equal to <coughs> so i'm just getting vg out of this uh, current i'll get later so i will have so i should have 0.455 uh, divided divided 
1000 plus 0.455 by close equal to so it's equal to it's equal to, it's equal to 4.55 into 10 to the power minus uh, 4v this is the vg now the current through the galvanometer should be equal to so ig should be equal to vg by this 5 because this resistance is 5 and that's equal to vg is this much so <laughs> equal to 4.55 into 10 to the power minus 4 divided this 5 and that's equal to divided 5 is equal to so it is 9.09 .09. so from here i'll do it here it is 9.096 into 10 to the power minus 5 v so the value of the current right now is this much so one current is this and the other is this now let's go for number c in number c the arrangement is the arrangement is uh, this one kilo ohm resistor which is 1000 here 1000 ohm it is parallel to the galvanometer g so which is 5 ohm so in this case the <coughs> the the the, uh, the current will be equal to the current here will be equal to the voltage is again v here so current should, ig will be equal to v by 5 that's equal to 0 0.20 v it's easy one 0 0.20 v so in number c the current is this much now number d in number d is somewhat like this so here we have got uh, this one kilo ohm resistor in uh, parallel with the galvanometer just z and then it, it is in series with this 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 this is 1000 and this is 5 so we follow the same approach here so first of all we have to f f find this vg the whole voltage is v so vg is equal to equal to uh, the parallel of this and this should be equal to so uh, the parallel of 1000 parallel 5 is equal to 1000 into 5 divided 1000 plus 5 so it will be equal to equal to it is 5000 sorry sorry it is 5000 divided 105 equal to so the resistance is equal to equal to 4.975 ohm so it is the common resistance of this and this this and this so now vg will be equal to equal to this 4.975 divided 4.975 plus 0.5 and into v so that's equal to uh, 4.975 divided 4.975975 plus 0.5 equal to so this is equal to 0 0.0.909 into v then current will be equal to current through here will be equal to ig is equal to vg by 5 equal to 0 0.909 by 5 and that's equal to equal equal to 0 0.909 divided 5 equal to equal 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 to 0 0.1818 v so this also was 0 0.1818 actually this is also 0 0.1818 now 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 the galvanometer will be safest safest when the current through it is the least the galvanometer will be safest or it will be protected from damage when the current through it is the least and going through all these choices we can say that this current is the least so that's why choice number b should be the correct choice so choice number b should be the correct choice so pretty long uh, uh, solution the first ever question of uh, uh, may june 2002 that i tried this uh, exam which got cancelled due to coronavirus 19 uh, 19 pandemic pandemic so the first ever question i tried it, it seemed to be rigorous uh, slightly difficult and i thought that i'd post this the first so that's the answer choice